Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gisela. In this video of polynomials, we shall be taking question 7 of exercise 2.5. Question 7 says evaluate the following using suitable identities. So we have 99 cube, 102 cube and 998 cube. So if we have to solve it 99 cube without using the identities, we will simply multiply 99 three times and find the product, isn't it? But over here, it will be easy and more comfortable if we use identity. Now, since it's a cube, so we will be using identities of cube, right? A plus B whole cube is A cube plus B cube plus 3 into A into B that is 3ab in bracket a plus b and using a minus b whole cube also which is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab in bracket a minus b so these are the two identities which we are going to use to solve these three questions now the first part is 99 cube we have to evaluate 99 cube using suitable identity now first of all 99 can be written as 100 minus 1, right? Or I can also write it as 98 plus 1 or 97 plus 2. Out of these options, from the calculation point of view, the most appropriate will be when I'll take 100 minus 1, right? So 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. It will be most appropriate because calculations involving hundreds, tens, fives are more convenient than taking 98, 97, right? So 99 cube can be written as 100 minus 1 whole cube. Now, it clearly is a, resembles our identity A minus B whole cube, which is equal to A cube minus B cube minus 3AB in bracket A minus B. Now, if you compare it, a is your 100 and B is your 1. So accordingly, first term is A cube. So you will write 100 cube. Second term is B cube. So you will write 1 cube, right? And minus 3 into A into B. That is 3 into 100 into 1. And then you have A minus B. So 100 minus 1, right? We have simply put the values in the identity. Now 100 cube is what? You are multiplying 100 three times. So 100 into 100 into 100. Six zeros you will get. One cube is 1 minus 1. 3 into 100, 300 and 100 minus 1. Now you can open the brackets. So over here as it is, you are getting 10 lakhs minus 1 minus 30,000 because 300 into 100 and minus minus plus. See over here, you have minus 300 and minus 1. So it will be plus 300, right? And further, you can simplify it, right? So final answer you are getting 9,70,299. So this is how we have evaluate, evaluated 99 cube. Now in the second part, we have 102 cube. So 102 can be very easily written as 100 plus 2. This is the most appropriate form. We could have also written 101 plus 1 or we could have written 103 minus 1 but the most appropriate from the calculation point of view is always the terms which are involving 100. So 100 plus 2 is the most convenient form of writing 102 because the calculations will be more simpler. So 102 cube can be written as 100 plus 2 cube. Now it clearly resembles our identity A plus B whole cube which is equal to A cube plus B cube plus 3AB in bracket A plus B. Now A over here is 100, right? B over here is 2. So accordingly put the values. First term is A cube. So we have written 100 cube. Second is B cube. So we will write 2 cube. Then we have 3 into A into B. So 3 into 100 into 2. And then A plus B. So 100 plus 2. Now you can solve it. 100 into 100 into 100. That means 100 into 100 into 100. 10 lakhs. Then 2 cube is 8. 3 into 100, 300 into 2, 600. 
then 100 plus 2 as it is and further open the bracket and solve it you will get 10,61,208 as the final answer right now in the third part we have 998 cube now 998 cube can again be written in many forms 1000 minus 2 or we could have written 999 minus 1 okay we could have written 997 plus 1 right so best is to write in the multiples of tens hundred thousands so this is the most appropriate form of writing 998 from the point of view of calculations so 998 whole cube is 1000 minus 2 whole cube now we shall use the identity involving minus sign a minus b whole cube which is a cube minus b cube minus 3ab into a minus b now over here what is your a first of all identify your a and b so a is 1000 b is 2 so first term a cube we will put a cube as 1000 cube then we have second term b cube so 2 cube and then minus 3 into a into b so 3 into 1000 into 2 and then we have a minus b so 1000 minus 2 and now 1000 into 1000 into 1000 so basically 9 times you will get the 0 2 cube is 8 3 into 1000 3000 into 2 6000 1000 minus 2 inside the bracket now you will open the bracket solve it and here you are getting a very very big figure so 9940111992 is your answer so this is it children hope you have understood all these parts of question 7 where we are using cubic identities okay in next video we shall be taking question 8 thank you everyone have a great day ahead